Hello everybody, this is Oscar on the streets, right now from a beautiful Valle Escondido with my friends, Jeff and Terry. Uh, this video is to let you guys know that it's coming up a nice event for a beautiful and novel event, a fundraiser event uh, for a project that the Rotary Club okay, is working on. it. Uh, guys, can you guys tell me a little bit more about this project, uh, uh, Valentine's Dinner at the Boulder 54? My name is Terry Novak, and I am the public image uh, chair for Rotary Rotario de Boquete. And this coming in February, t on February 10th, we're going to have a pre Valentine dinner at Boulder 54, and it will be $20 per plate. $7 of that uh, plate will go toward our Manchichi project in the Comarca. And Jeff here will tell you more about that. So I hope you guys will join us and enjoy the evening out. We will be observing all social distancing compliances, so not to worry about that. We're very respectful of that. But uh, do, do, you do need to call, and we'll provide that information uh, later, but you will need to call for reservations. There will be two seatings on that evening. So, look forward to seeing you all. Awesome, awesome. Jeff, so tell us what is about this Manchichi project and why it's so important that the Rotary gets all the support as possible. Yes, thank you, Oscar. Jeff Flynn is the name. I am the uh, program director for the Manchichi project. This is a project that came to our attention uh, through a founding member who's an actual OBGYN uh, in David, at the hospital in David, um, Dr. Newton Osborne, who brought to our attention the very high incidence of maternal and infant mortality, especially in the Comarca, with preventable, very preventable uh, health issues that could be addressed if these women in the Comarca had better access to someone that was actually monitoring their yeah. health. By chance, we have gotten in, we have gotten connected with a NGO, non-governmental organization out of Savannah, Georgia, that has uh, completed a project very similar to what we're going to be rolling out here in the Nove Bugula uh, Comarca. They did this with the Mayan communities in Guatemala, where they were able to go in and work with these traditional midwives, they're called comodronas, and bring up, up, upgrade their knowledge and, and capabilities to create a force within the comarca of highly trained women who can be early sentinels to detect high-risk pregnancies before they reach a crisis level. Wow, amazing. And these are remote areas, so they're not easy to get into. They're not areas yeah. very accessible to, to traditional medicine. It requires an incredible amount of effort to get these women in. So the idea is to prevent getting to these crisis levels. And it's been very successful in Guatemala. You're working with a resource within the community. where It's a community empowerment type program that, that has already proven itself to be very effective. Um, we are in the, in the process of doing assessments with six communities right now in the Comarca. We have already made uh, a lot of connections in Panama with uh, a, a group called Asastran, which is mm -hmm. a, an association of curanderos, uh, healers, and midwives within the Comarca. And uh, we are going to be hiring some, some women in the Comarca, just like they did with the Mayan population in the communities they, they're working with in Guatemala. And these will become the instructors for the communities and for the midwives. And it's gonna be a one year program at the end of which these women, these midwives are going to know how to use basic diagnostic equipment like stethoscopes, okay. asphyg asphygmatomometers for measuring yes. uh, blood pressure, gluconometers, 
for diabetes, blood sugar, yeah. et cetera. And they're going to be in a position to be able to connect. That's the other part of this, is yeah. we're gonna get these this system into a continuum of care so that they're gonna be able to actually interact effectively yeah. with the medical community, get these women out ahead of time if, they, if they're uh, displaying yes. any type of critical uh, Symptoms, situation yes. where, where they're likely to have a problem and, and it's gonna save some lives. Definitely. It's, gonna, it's gonna definitely save some lives. And we just got confirmation that the Panama government really likes this project. That's beautiful. And the That's Institute, awesome. the Republic of Panama Institute of the Woman, have have let us know that they they like this project so much. They want to use this this model, this pilot project uh, uh, program that we're going to be doing potentially as a model system to roll out throughout the country as a way of addressing women's health in remote areas. Amazing. Well, this is a very amazing project. You guys gotta really come and support this. It is no words to describe how excited I am. And then we definitely, Route 3, the main goal, what is the main goal to fundraise uh, and what is the limit to time frame? Well, I mean, as soon as we can, as soon as we can get to our funding goal of yeah. ninety thousand dollars, yes, then we're going to be able to apply for a Rotary International Global Grant, okay, for some matching funds, okay, to be able to uh, uh, get the actual training part of this going. So, uh, as a goal, we're we're hoping to have this in place by May. That's that's our goal. Amazing, amazing. And guys, just remember that this project, you will not help one person. You're gonna help hundreds of people in the Comarcas. You're gonna save lots of lives and empowerment. There is very need in the Comarcas right now. And it's a beautiful combination of our uh, synergy between uh, traditional medicine from them, but also the, with the technology, the thing that we have. So this is a beautiful opportunity for every single of you to support the best you can. And one way or another, the Rotary Club has been very, really active in some of these projects. And I really kindly ask you to come and enjoy this beautiful dinner, a beautiful location, Boulder 54, I mean, with Chef Chris Young. It's gonna be delicious food, good ambiance, right? A absolutely, and remember, this is, Valentine's is a celebration of love. Exactly. And this project, is about the purest form of love, and that's a mother's love. You got it. You got it. All right, man. Well, thank you so much, and let's hope to see you guys there. All right? Thank you so much for right. the information, All right. and thank you in advance. All right.